Okay, so Afnan is sent in the scene. They're having trouble seeing this HDRI. Um, I've said to hide the glass, it's not happening, so I'm just going to take a look at the scene now. And as we can see, it's shown as black. Um, I sent a few ideas over, but now I've got the scene, so I've opened this up and we can actually maximize viewport like this. That'll save us some real estate. In fact, let's just see how this renders out of the box. I'm just gonna run an interactive. All right, so we do seem to be seeing the background image. Um, it does seem a little bit blown out in places. And this is sent as is, so I mean, I haven't, I haven't had to hide the glass or anything to see that. And um, let's have a look at how this lighting is set up. All right, there we go. That's looking like it's working. And I'm going to open up our material editor. And this is map two HDR. So this is this is plugged into here. And that. All looks fine to me. And let me just check the environment. I'm going to press 8 on the keyboard. And yeah, that's plugged into the environment as well. So if we go back to our camera, it's going to update. And we turn off use map. We'll see that now we don't we don't want to confuse things at the moment so let's just clear this environment map let's not have anything in there and we'll have it at black if you have it at white it's going to start blowing everything out so always have your environment as black because we're putting hdri environments in i'm going to open up the light lister this is going to show us all the lights in our scene so if i turn off light five i believe that's the lamp there and light four is the hdri so we can't see the HDRI and it's not really pushing a lot of light in. And this lamp is far too bright because it's pretty much the primary light in the scene and we don't want that. We want the exterior to be the primary light. So you can select lights here and here. I've just turned off our lamp light, close the material editor for the moment. And Let's just show the background. So we're going to turn off invisible so we can see what's going on. So the first thing I would do with this scene is probably add a V-Ray plane. And the reason for that is when we are casting light from our HDRI, the light can bounce off of our V-Ray plane and reflect light into the room. It's going to push more light into the room. It, it produces more realistic results. So let's put that in. A V-Ray plane is like an infinite plane and it's going to bounce more light through that window. So I'm also going to apply a material to the V-Ray plane and just make it plain grey, mid-grey. Now let's go back to our camera and run the interactive again. We should be able to see it, yeah, we can see it there and we can see it's got brighter, so we're getting more light in. But I think we can probably rotate our HDRI as well. So let's get that light lister back open. Actually, let's do it in the material editor. So I'm pressing M, M on the keyboard. No, I'm not. Let's go here. And I'm going to rotate it using this horizontal rotation. So as we move that round, we can see that the lighting is changing. If you've got pixel vision, we can see the light starting to come in here. So let's keep rotating that round. Maybe push it onto that bed. So now we can see the light coming in here. So we're getting more and more light. Right, something like 90, 90 degrees will work. Right, that's cool. And something else I want to check is what we have in the material override because it's looking 
a little bit too bright we want to be using like a mid gray in here so in our render setup let's check out the override which is in global switches which is here so we've got default one which is this um, so if we go into the diffuse I mean it's pretty much white so it's, it's going to be blowing out so let's pull that to like a mid grey hit OK and we can see that's more more like it so we want to change the exposure of our camera now to get more light in there so I'm going to select camera modify and let's pull this down to zero I mean that's looking pretty good in a later lesson there is a class about putting in a background image so don't worry too much about that anyway um, let's open up the light lister turn them lamp lights on at the side and they're really really too strong so even if we pull that down to one that's much better I'd also check that bag isn't floating that looks like a bit of a, a moody model and here maybe some double faces I'd check that um, but I mean the HDR the HDRI is working now, these lamps are on and it's looking pretty nice.